ne- it's never been just him. It's always been a collaborative process, actually. So um, I don't I don't know where you might have heard that uh, Daniel was the sole songwriter, but he's not. He's the. I get all the royalties. He's. <laughs> yeah, you he he generates the musical material that the bo- the, the the group works with, but by the time it makes it through the Interpol process, I guess you could call it, um, it doesn't even really resemble too much the initial idea that he, well, not all the time, but it's very different than from when it, when it leaves his hands. It's very different. So maybe the idea that he's a sole songwriter Give comes me. from that. I started the songs. I play everything from the beginning to the end. All those drum parts, they're, they're really me. And uh, the bass lines, I mean, I don't do a very good job, but I try to play the, the bass. You can hear on the record, I do my best, you know, a little bit. A little sp- <clears throat> no, yeah, I usually start the songs where I write basic progressions at home, then I bring it to the band, and then it becomes an Interpol song, the song. Yeah, but you say kind of in a <laughs> way together. You seem like a psychologist sitting over there with your notepad looking like you're observing us. Yeah, you do. We don't really talk about the, you know, Paul's vocals. Paul writes all the lyrics and all the, the vocals, and uh, I think if he was here, he'd probably be a little bit... He doesn't really go t- into too much detail about his vocals. I mean, sometimes I guess he does a little bit, but for the most part, I think he, he likes to try to leave it for other people to make connections and to discern meaning and emotion but i don't think he i don't know i don't know basically i can't ask that question i don't know if you can and i don't know if paul would or not how's that for an answer it's pretty good, it's pretty good. I, i'd say definitely talk to paul yeah paul listening to film soundtracks really okay. that's about it um i've fallen in all, in love recently with uh the score to um the Curse of the Golden Flower. I can't remember the, who's the director of um, Hero yeah. and and House of Flying Daggers and all these sort of nouveau kind of uh, martial arts dramas. His latest one is called Curse of the Golden Flower. Excellent movie and the soundtrack is immense. Also the uh, movie I haven't seen but the, I've, the soundtrack is absolutely amazing uh, which is the, paint, the Painted Veil which has Ed Norton and Naomi Watts circa 1920s scientists who go on a trip to China but the score is un- unbelievable how did you hear the score because soundtrack.net like does rev- sure reviews sure. yeah they do reviews like for instance also an amazing amazing score is Philip Glass's uh, score for um, uh, Notes on a Scandal so I listened to that a lot before I even saw the movie and the movie is excellent what am I listening to it's a good question. I like the new Panda Bear record. Oh, I've heard about it. It's pretty good. I like the new Blonde Redhead. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, let's see what else do I like right now. I also was nice enough to make me um, a CD of Stravinsky and uh, Beethoven, which I've been listening to a lot, quite a bit. For a while, I don't think I really, when we were making the record, I couldn't really listen to other bands. You know, I certainly can listen to new music, so I kind of put everything on the shelf and that GD. It's you know it refers to something, but it's one of those things that we can't really like reveal. No, that's exactly the response I gave on the phone the other day. So it does just it's not it's not arbitrary. It does resp- what, it, we will reveal the uh, etymology of this um, song title in due course. Let it be known for now that it is not time yet. Well, I'm really hard up for cash. We decided to sell all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> it's we haven't declassified that information. No, yet, yeah, so. no one's affected either. With the, no one's what? Defected with the secrets. Well, one of the most inspiring records that I've ever listened to actually is uh, Air's Virgin Suicide Score, which is like on its own an excellent record. But then it just so also happens to be, it's not just an air record, but it's also the score for this movie, which I think is a brilliant, brilliant concept. It's not the first time that that's been done, but they really modernized that concept by making like a sort of hip sounding record that also functions extremely well as a score. And I think this band is more than capable of taking on that kind of of a role in a certain situation. I'm sure it'll happen at some point. At least I hope. I mean, I think a lot of the songs off this new record you could put 
just drop them into a film like as they are and they probably would fit they would lend the emotion you know maybe that the film is looking for right there if you put pioneer to the falls in a film and just let it play even you know continuously i think you'd it would, it would get a you know it would it would basically be expressing a very strong sense of emotion for that that moment in that film um, i remembered some other song records i'm listening to i like the new lcd sound system i think that's pretty good and I like the the last Bonnie Prince Billy record. I think I, I think it's a pretty great record. And and Karen Dalton, whew, amazing, ah, oh, great, great, great uh, singer songwriter, late sixties, early seventies, lived in New York City, crazy voice, just incredible. Died, sadly. Um, and uh, I like the Joanna Newsom record a lot. I think that's a really good record. Back to uh, soundtracks. You know, it's like it is nice that we're at the stage where people are, are asking us if we are influencing other bands or other bands about what, what do you think about that band that's obviously influenced by you. A lot of times I don't know the bands that they're talking about, like the names. I might have heard names. But I certainly don't know the music or I might not even know the names. I mean, I, it's like it's nice and flattering that people might think this or if they are influenced, that they are influenced. It's great. But apart from that, you know, we got our own road and we really we're really good at sticking on our own road. It's kind of like heavy enough. You know, this what we do is. Just everything that goes along with what we're doing, you know, just to make music to, is is enough for to for and then to to make all the decisions we have to make and then to transform our lives to accommodate touring. That's enough for us to just you know keep our eyes moving forward and it it feels very healthy not looking around too much. You know, that said, we were away for like two years of touring, so who knows? Once we go back out there, maybe there's some roads that cross with some other bands, so forth. But it's nice to hear and it's flattering if it's the truth, but ultimately, you know. You know, you just got to keep going forward, right? 